Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome to an updated iMac explanation video. This is going to be a bit more informative than my previous one because I kind of glossed over some key important parts because I just wanted to make some content to fill the void. So let's get into this new video. I have James here who is going to be my Hi, test Hi, subject I'm for today. Let's just get say. I think he's happy hello, about hello, being hello, in the hello. spotlight again. Hold on a second, Buster. Did you say test subject? I didn't agree to this. You brought me in here telling me I'd be in a video again. So what is this about? Well, looks like I forgot to tell you about that part. Uh, wait, oh wait, well, wait. here we go. With that horribly irritating voice aside, let's get into the iMac. Oh boy. This is your faceplate. This is going to house your eyes and the brackets that hold them and the little T-bar that moves them around. In my last video, I completely neglected to tell you where you can get some of these. Jamos Trainos has a perfect Gauge 1 starter pack kits that include iMac files for you. I will provide a link down into the Google Drive in the description below. Secondly, you need a face with the overlay plate cut out for the eyes to sit through. This is a cast of the original James face, but there are some 3D files available if you look around a little bit. Obviously, you need the servos. I mean, like, come on, you can't have an iMac without servos. This is your on-off switch, which I'm pretty sure, hopefully everyone knows what an on-off switch does, if not, uh, yeah, you know. Here is your receiver, these normally come with the RC controller, so this will pretty much tell everything you do, yeah. Oh, here's the battery pack, yep. Batteries, woohoo, battery equals power. Here is the controller we'll be using, this is the FlySky FS16X, as you can see here. All right, let's get started. First, grab two pairs of servos, or just one pair, two pair, whatever. Just make sure you have servos. Okay, yep, we're good to go. You'll want to take your servos, yep, yep, you gotta grab it like that, and arrange them into this T-shape as you can see here. You'll want to attach a steel bar to the end of the servo arm. This will go into your iMac to move the eyes around. You can change the length depending on which engine and where your servos are in the boiler. So, this is James, this is how I have James to set up, that's pretty much Good to go, yippee. Here is your eye plate. This is the main control center of your iMac. The eyes sit in between this face plate and this ovular bracket in the front. Now, the back plate doesn't have to be drilled enough for the eyes to slip through. It has to be just enough that it has a tension fit, but I unfortunately did not do that. So I put a second ovular plate in the back to hold the eyes together. This little bar moves the eyes left and right. It has to be big enough to kind of pivot between the screws, however you have it held in, but it has to be free enough to move around. How the servos are held in, I honestly just use a servo arm glued to a piece of styrene inside James' boiler. This is, you know, cheap, but it works. Now it's time to install the servos into the body. It takes a little finesse to get it in there. It's a little finicky, just depending on how you do it. But the way I have it is the servos can easily be removed for maintenance or anything to do with the model. If I need to take out the servos, they easily just unplug. Now it's time to plug in your servos to the receiver. I have mine set to channel 1 and 2 because that is the stick that has a full 360 rotation on it. Now it's time to install your batteries. Plug the battery pack into the on-off switch and as simple as turning on the on-off switch and plugging it into your receiver. Time for a test. Turn on the on-off switch and you should see a red blinking light on your receiver. This means the receiver has power and it's time to turn on the controller. As you can see, as I powered on the servo arm moved, this resets into its natural default position. It's best to power on the servos before you make any permanent changes to make sure they sit correctly, because sometimes when you turn on the controller, the servos will move to their natural default position and kind of mess up your thing. Time to install the eye plate. Make sure the servo arm goes into that little bar in the back through the little hole and then just install your eye plate. Mine is screwed in, so we're gonna make a jump cut when it's screwed in so I don't bore you guys. Time for a final test and happy to say everything works as intended. 
Hopefully this video is informative to you. I will provide links in the description for everything you need for an iMac minus faces. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope this helps you with your Gauge 1 models. Please credit this tutorial if you decide to use it in the end. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a ton and makes these Gauge 1 videos possible. If you want to check out some more videos, there are some here and here. Thanks for watching, everybody!